While you and me repeat This bittersweet heat Is suffocating Alright guys, I'm here with Chris Darby IFBB Pro Bodybuilder in the 212 Division um, Today I want to talk about Vision <laughs> Pause and dramatic music Going right there Okay, vision is important Not just in bodybuilding But it's what I learned in bodybuilding Because it's very easy to see something right in front of you And try to envision it on yourself So we did chest today and of course Chris is in condition And he's wearing a tank So you can see everything is developed Lower, lower to upper uh, Left to right His whole chest is developed and grainy and striated So when I'm doing my set I'm imitating the way he does his reps I'm Slow on the way down Really big contraction on top And I'm just having it in my mind Okay, I want my chest to look this way, and I'm physically every single rep I have this vision in my mind. So, in terms of uh, you know wanting to be you know debt free, or you know wanting to graduate, or wanting to get a certain certification, or wanting a new car, um, vision really helps in those aspects too. Do uh, you have any experiences with uh, how you use vision, Chris? I mean, you turned pro, which is huge. So, what else have you done? Well, honestly, I want to kind of go with what you're talking about. You know, you took your vision and you learned how to use it and all other aspects of life. Well, whether you're doing bodybuilding, bikini fitness, or anything, just industry, the whole contest prep and lifestyle will teach you a lot of aspects that you can use in life and to succeed. I mean, think about it. Time management, organi organizational skills, patience, uh, committing to something and finishing it. I mean... If you can get past all everything and all the obstacles that bodybuilding and this fit, the fitness industry throws at you, you can get through anything. So, you know, you can learn a lot through the whole process. And if you can, if you can survive it, there's nothing in life you can't do. So that's something I actually always, always tell all my clients and anybody. Pay attention, not just to what you're doing in the gym, but the overall involvement that it, it, it actually consists of. So we're working out with Chris. We talked about uh, kind of a general, uh, a general theme that applies outside of bodybuilding and especially in bodybuilding, which is vision. Now we're going to talk about the workout. We've warmed up with some hammered incline presses, just kind of a traditional, both hands uh, moving up simultaneously, and then we move to uh, where we're sitting sideways to focus on a really big contraction in the, I guess, the inner part. Of the more inner, yeah, more inner. So it's more inner, you get a really big heat contraction on the top, and we're just moving uh, to the side. It was a, it was kind of different, it took me a couple of sets to really feel it, but it did feel different. Let's try it out. Then we went outside into the sun, and uh, Houston, Texas is super humid, so Chris got all veiny, and um, we did some flat dumbbell presses uh, outside here at One to One Training Center. Trying to lift them, trying to lift them Chris style. Real slow, pause on the bottom. Real intense contraction on the top. So I see his chest and I'm trying to envision my chest all grainy, striated, and uh, thick like his. It's just chest and plants though, really. The strategy there, I was trying to move the dumbbells a little bit slower on the way down. Uh, time under maximum tension, went straight to the hundreds and uh, banged out as many reps as I could. Stopped at about 10 for a set, to, uh, for a set of, for three sets of flat dumbbell presses. Then we went inside and did a, a cable fly yeah. for the upper pecs. All in all, it was, a, it was a different experience. I'm not used to moving so slow. It does take some discipline and a shit ton of energy. It was only three exercises. It wasn't, it wasn't crazy five, six, seven exercises. It was just three exercises, but you, you really focused on contracting the muscle, and that's all you needed. That's all we needed. And uh, contracting the muscle and, and doing a negative that consumes a ton of energy. So, like you said, we only did three exercises, but you know, you're tapped out at the end of that. Um, if you're used to one style of training, you might wanna, as Josh Bryant says, you might wanna cross train a little bit. So if you're training like a power lifter, you, you'll get a really good response if you kind of cross over strategically and mix the two styles of training. You know, if, if muscular hypertrophy is your number one goal. But you, you really have to mentally prepare yourself because it, it, it actually takes a lot of mental mental strength in order to slow things down and not get bored. Okay, because it's it can be boring to a lot of people if you're just 
doing things slowly instead of just having fun lifting it. So you really have to prepare yourself mentally for a change when you're doing these things. And it's going to take way fucking longer to do these exercises and to get done with the, the amount of reps that you're trying to do. Compared to basically, okay, 15, 20 seconds, got my reps and you're done. No, you, it can be 45 seconds to a minute until you're done because you're slowed everything down. Anyways, Chris Darby, Houston, Texas, uh, getting ready for the uh, Wings of Strength. Uh, North Carolina, Europa, and Tampa Pro. All right, let's get a, a like a, just a, a pose so I can use for a screenshot for the video. You can do a bicep. I'll just be down here like this. Let me see it again. Open that, that, that one up a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. There we go. That's better. I got it.